Inter-rater reliability is the degree to which different evaluators or raters give consistent assessments when observing the same event, performance, or data. It is an important measure in research, education, psychology, and other fields where subjective judgment is involved. If two or more people evaluate the same thing in a similar way, inter-rater reliability is high. However, if their judgments vary widely, it is low. This concept helps ensure that assessments and decisions are fair, accurate, and not overly influenced by individual opinions. Now let's look at some examples of inter-rater reliability in practice. One example of inter-rater reliability is in grading essays. If two teachers evaluate the same essay and give nearly identical scores based on a rubric, the grading process is reliable. However, if one gives a high score and the other gives a low one, it shows inconsistency. Another example is in medical diagnoses. If two doctors examine the same patient and reach the same conclusion, it indicates strong inter-rater reliability. This concept also applies to job interviews, where multiple interviewers should rate candidates similarly based on a set of clear criteria. Now let's explore some benefits of high inter-rater reliability. A key benefit of inter-rater reliability is improved fairness. When multiple evaluators reach similar conclusions, it reduces the chance of bias affecting results. Another benefit is greater confidence in decision-making. If assessments are consistent across different raters, people can trust that the evaluation process is accurate. Additionally, high inter-rater reliability makes research and data collection more valid. When studies rely on human judgment, consistent ratings ensure that findings are meaningful and repeatable. However, inter-rater reliability is not without its challenges. One weakness of inter-rater reliability is that it can be difficult to achieve in areas involving subjective judgment. Even with clear guidelines, different raters may have personal preferences or interpretations that lead to variation. Another issue is that enforcing strict consistency may limit creativity and flexibility. For example, in artistic fields, requiring all judges to agree completely might discourage unique perspectives. Finally, achieving high inter-rater reliability can require extensive training and clear criteria, which can be time-consuming and resource-intensive. Despite these weaknesses, there are alternative ways to ensure fairness in evaluation. One alternative to inter-rater reliability is using objective measures whenever possible. Instead of relying on human judgment, numerical data or automated systems can provide consistent results. For example, standardized tests use clear scoring rules to minimize variation between graders. Another alternative is using multiple rating scales or averaging scores from several evaluators to balance individual differences. In some cases, self-assessment or peer reviews can also provide valuable insights, especially in subjective areas. While inter-rater reliability is important, combining different evaluation methods can lead to more accurate and well-rounded assessments.